So the first thing that I am going to do is I am going to cut off the back of my hair. Okay. Hey, what up? It is your girl MD and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe before you head out. We have officially reached over 200K and I just wanted to take the time out to thank you guys so much for the love and support. It does not go unnoticed. I appreciate you and love you so much. It's so easy to concentrate on your hair as a whole that you neglect other aspects of your hair. And for me, it definitely is, was the nape of my neck. So I recently shared this footage with you guys of the nape of my neck and how it looked a hot mess, it looked damaged, it was broken, it looks like a three-year-old that got a perm and her hair broke off. And I was ashamed. <laughs> I almost actually did not share it with you guys because I was embarrassed, because I didn't realize that my hair ever looked like that. And so, but I try to be as transparent as possible about my hair on my channel, and so that is why I shared it with you guys, because I knew that I was not alone and I was not the only one. I was ashamed that the back of my hair looked like that. But I was like, Melissa, how are you doing healthy videos on YouTube and your back of your hair looks a hot mess? I mean, dead serious. I never knew that the back of my hair looked like that, ever. I've never even thought about it. <laughs> so you guys actually did suggest a few videos and people for me to check out. I will leave those in the description box. And this is officially day one of my nape journey. And if you too struggle with that in that area of your life, <laughs> join me. So the first thing that I am going to do is I am going to cut off the back of my hair. And to cut off the back of my hair. And I kind of stretched it out a little bit. And I don't know, I hope that I have it all down. I might have to do a little bit more later on. But yes. I'm just gonna cut it. I have no attachment. I'm like kind of, should I be nervous? I don't think that I should be. This, I don't know what to do. I don't know, I probably should be doing this in the bathroom or something, I don't know. I feel like Raven, at least right now. I'm just like, oh, let's just cut this hair. But I can see how this is exhilarating. Cut it like right here. Why did I just, oh my God, I don't think I should have done that. I feel like that's like healthy hair. Is it? What am I doing? Why did I just do that? <laughs> what am I doing? All right, I at least need to make it even. I think I'm going crazy. Why did I just do that? It's because your hair is damaged, Melissa, that's why it's damaged. What am I doing? All right. Focus. Like, I should probably be doing this in front of the mirror. I'm doing this in front of the computer screen. Because, you know, I'm a genius. What are, what are you? I feel like I cut too much off. Oh my god. What are you doing? You're crazy. You are being crazy! Oh my god, I feel like this is going to be, look horrible. Oh my god. Whatever. I don't feel like that part was even damaged that it just cut off. I think I've been locked inside too long. What? Now this looks really bad. Melissa, it looked bad before. Shut up. I should have done this in the mirror. What? Oh my Why god. Why did you just do this? Are you done? Okay, I cut this. I don't know if it's even good or not. Selfie stuff. Really? Man, I'm about to just shave the back of my, of my head at this point. Oh no. This looks, I feel like this looks even worse. Does it look even worse? I think it does. Oh, what am I doing with my light? Okay. I think that this is okay, no? Why are you doing this? You, oh my God. I think this is it. I feel like it's uneven though. But, this is what I cut off. Obviously, it's not that big of a deal. It's just hair. It's really not that much. But <laughs> I'm just dramatic, okay? Welcome to my life. Even though I feel like this looks like some healthy hair right there, but whatever. Um, yep, that's what I cut off. I think I'm done. 
even though this looks crazy right now, but it looked crazier before, I'm sure. All right, let's turn around, see what it looks like. But that is that for now, Zaddy. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys the rest of my routine and I'll probably just voice over the rest of this video. Okay, I guess it doesn't look too horrible. Maybe I cut off more than needed, but here we are. So I'm just going to spray this area down. Obviously, when you cut any dead hair off, your, hair, your curls are definitely going to pop more. One of the main things that I'm going to be concentrating on is really conditioning this section. I don't know if I'm going to do it separately. Obviously, I am right now, but we'll see. Using Shea Moisture, steep mask you need to pay attention to what your hair is rubbing on so the back of a cushion the headrest of your car your pillow your clothes all the friction is going to likely cause breakage even when you tie your scarf that can also cause a problem I'm going to take a shower cap fold it over this area and let it sit for a bit after doing all this, I realized how dry the section of my hair usually is. It makes sense why it is so broken and damaged. So I rinsed it out and my next step is oil. This is the Sulfur 8 Do Grow and Castor Oil Mix that I'm using currently and I'm just going to be using it to grease my scalp and hair. I think it's really all about just staying consistent and just making sure you're paying attention to this section of your hair. Lots and lots of scalp massages and I'm just going to use my fingers and then my massage brush which again you can find in my description box if you don't already have one. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to braid that section of my hair again I'm not a braider so I don't even know how I accomplished this little braid right here not too tight I think that this overall is definitely a game changer at least for me because at least that part of my hair is just braided up out of the way I don't have time to like bother with it tug on it for the most part I'm still in the house so it doesn't really matter what the back of my hair looks like I typically tie my scarf like this and more times than not my hair is usually peeking out in this section and not protected by my scarf. The scarf is moving around causing that section of hair to be harder to keep healthy and strong. So the last week or so I started tying my scarf like this so somewhat of a pineapple or even if you just have a silk or satin pillowcase and you don't want to even go the scarf route that works too. So it's been about a week and a half since I've started all this and I will say so far so good that section of my hair has been staying super hydrated super moisturized i literally just have kept my hair in that little braid i hope you guys have found this video helpful that is the beginning of my nate journey i will do a check-in maybe in two or three months i will let you guys know but i definitely will keep you posted but yeah i'll also probably do some check-ins on my instagram as well so make sure you guys follow me there but yeah so that is it so like always i love you i appreciate you and i will see you guys in my next video peace